movement number four. Dragon seeks path. Dragon whips his tail. Yo, my man, why you got on that purse, son? Huh? Hey, this ain't no f***ing purse. I'm the big dilf. Don't do that. I'm not out of Patron in a bit at you, heard? Get your money up, not your fun up. Get your money up, not your funny up, dummy. Yo, we lit. Get in. Whole lot of gang shit. You know what I'm saying? Glizzy gang. The month gang. food podcast got strictly for the fans out right now. Make sure you go streaming out on all major platforms. Got that screw face and Dax. Make sure you make sure you go into streaming that. You know why? Cause numbers is crazy. Cause numbers is crazy, bro. What then else? that strictly for the fans merch. It's out. And I know y'all listening. Out. You know why I know y'all listening? I'm going to tell you. Hold on. Y'all listening because everybody got the blue drum. Correct. That correct blue. That shit fire, bro. I'm saying that. I mean, that's the color. I say it's the crip blue. You get the blood red or the crip blue. You know what I'm saying? But, yo, make sure you go cop that. that. Have nothing to do with gangs. No, it doesn't. I just, it just, it's just a nice color blue. That's all. But you gonna fuck around and really brand that shit as Crip Blue or some shit? Hey, yo, listen, go ahead and give me the color. Uh, Somebody write off on that check. I need that colorway. Uh, that shit fire, because if that's the colorway, I need that. Uh, but yo, make sure you go cop that, because it's out now. And we got the Mumful Podcast merch coming up too, and that's dumb wavy, so you already know it. Wavy gang. You already know what time it is, you know what I'm saying? Uh, okay. What we talking about today? I knew you were going to ask me that, so I asked you first. Hey, man, what we going to talk about today, man? <laughs> Yo, what we going to talk about today, son? Yo, let me get myself... <laughs> Go ahead. Yo, so, we about to talk about the new aftermath. God, the new aftermath is this the new legacy that Dre got coming, bruh? Is mm. this what's going to be the next thing popping? All right, I'm back. Listen. Right. So, what we talk about today, my nag? We... <laughs> Dog. Yo, son. Dog, yo. Uh, <laughs> I get it, bro. So check this out. We're talking about the new aftermath because um what it's looking like is aftermath might be gearing up a little bit, you know, because Shady got Boogie coming. And really what sparked this idea of this video was yesterday that video that came out with Corday and um Dr. Dre in the studio. And if y'all know me and y'all watch this channel, y'all should know how much... You know, I know, like, what... I mean, it's not me saying it. It's, it's, right. it's, it's history saying it. But look at anybody Dre stood next to and decided to be like, this is the person I'm going to co-sign. Tell me one person that wasn't successful. Just go ahead, just give me one name, just one name that wasn't successful. I think there's, like, literally one or two, but I'm not going to... Even if there something. is one, he, he swept that under the rug so well that there wasn't. So go ahead and say that. Yeah, so, facts. What I'm saying is, Dre had the power to, like, do NWA, literally leave NWA, and make Aftermath. He's just, he doesn't even, I feel like he don't try. Like, he just, like, <coughs> it, it, there's, like, a hip-hop rule if Dr. Dre says, no matter how old you are, no matter what gender, if Dr. Dre says, we listen, we listen. It's weird like that. Because think about how many different bases... Of type or types of people Dre has been able to reach to. Okay, so he does NWA, which is a super gangster crowd, right? And there's obviously, like, you know, white people because that's a lot of the people who consume the music, but it's like a gangster, gangster street crowd, right? Yeah. Pop, same way, right? Snoop, a little bit more international, but the, at that time, gangster, gangster. It right? was gangster, gangster, yeah. So the Dre leaves back and picks up Eminem. Which is, it couldn't be night and day from what he used to do. 
It literally could not been. The fact that he made M pop is even weirder because it's like this is the gangster rap guy. Okay, kind of, M-M. kind of though, because the thing is, is that <coughs> that's true, but. Eminem still had the not give a fuck attitude, and that was I but feel it like the gangsta, ga- listen, no, it wasn't the gangsta difference. gangsta, but he's used to dealing with niggas <coughs> that got that not give a fuck attitude though. Yeah, but even when you look at the Up and Smoke tour, right? Definitely one of these things is not like the other. You know what I'm saying? So it was like yeah, Ice Cube. They, that's literally where they like basically what's it called? Branded the the Crip Walk was on that tour, so it's like. That, yeah. The tour M was on. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, I, I, that's why I was thinking. But then 50 comes, game comes, <coughs> Kendrick, and it's like, wow. So now Corday. Listen. Yeah, Eve, too. Don't forget that. Listen. Corday pops. I'll be, not pops. Corday is something that I've been saying since before Dr. Dre even stood next to him. But this is somebody who really has the opportunity to be a big name because right. and, and when he first came in the game you kind of have to know the trajectory of where rap was going to know that okay this is what I'm telling you and I'm gonna keep saying it <coughs> but rap is going to sound is gonna start sounding more like and Corday is a name that whenever I used to I bring up like those I never bring up Corday but that is why that is why he's getting that look because I think Dr. Dre there's you've got to have some sort of math when you're that good at doing that. Yeah. You got to kind of have to be able to s- smell when the tides are changing. or It's like he's investing in Subway. Like, he always knows what to invest <coughs> in right before it blows up. Like, so he has like, a program that that has an algorithm that tells him exactly when the time to discover the next nigga, nigga that the next big nigga that's about to fit in the same genre category of person that he always makes big. From he the definitely jump. has a magic eight ball somewhere <laughs> that he shakes and it just says a name. But yo, Corday has just made like um, just I feel like good moves. Like I, he's just the thing that I like about him is that we don't have a lot of music from him. That's the the one thing that I feel like keeps people guessing. Like, yo, when is this nigga gonna drop something? Because he doesn't have a solo project out. He just got the the collaboration project, the YBN joint. Where he got his songs and I think a couple other songs and features and stuff like that, but it's dope, man. I'm excited, bro. I'm excited. Well, here's the here's the exciting part about it is that Cordae <coughs> was <coughs> good. I'm not saying good without him because definitely not good without him. But Cordae was good before, and I don't mean good as in why does he keep doing this? And I don't mean obviously good as in he's straight in his career, but he was literally like a good artist before Dre got there. Right. So now I feel like Dre has the ability of doing that, um, <coughs> making that his cosigns be so epically big that it be like if he says something, it goes. So it, now it's like this is gonna put a, this is better than having M behind you because this is what Dre does. <coughs> right. Dre did that for him. You know Dre did mean? that for Kendrick too, and right. that's what I'm saying. It's like. Court, if he signs, oh god, if he signs the aftermath, if he signs the aftermath, that's going to be way bigger than Boogie signing the shade. That's going to be so much because aftermath hasn't signed an artist like a major artist in a, like long since, time since Kendrick, right? Or Interscope, whatever. Regardless, it, it's it's crazy to think what are they making. Like I literally was so excited because I'm like, what is? Damn, so this what you crazy. think? You think he gonna leave YBN behind? He might D12 it. He might D12 him. Because you gotta think, Namir is really, really big. Regardless oh, yeah, 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 no doubt. So, I don't think he's gonna be, he doesn't need to really leave YBN. But, because he's already so, when you think of Corday, you don't really put them, put him with the other YBN guys. He's kind of like, so different that he's already his own thing. Yeah. Um. I think everything he does is only going to be better for YBN. But I could also see him completely leaving them and just acting like he was never part. Just of them. dropping just, YBN and just picking up the Corday name and just going. I could definitely see him just. But uh, and he doesn't need to. But if he doesn't want to involve them with what he's doing, I could get it. It's just got to be amicable. I mean, yeah, but I also. 
because they bring a whole different. They bring a type of because uh, Namir so big, he brings a, a type of look and feeling already when you just see those three letters. So maybe he will want. I just want my own clean slate. You know, I don't want Dr. Dre to rock with me, and then all of a sudden, like, because if your name's YB, I've never seen that. It'll be like it'll almost have to be like an NWA thing, where it's like. If he doesn't, and his name's YBN Corday, I would does. assume he would. If he's not with YBN anymore, he would drop the YBN. You know what I mean? I mean Corday is definitely a fire name. That's definitely just a I, name I that. Say this. I don't. I'm not. I'm not here to see YBN get put on through that. I'm trying to see what Corday is doing with Dre. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. I'm not here for like that's cool, but I also don't think that's cool because is that what is that what is going to be his career? Like if he gets a move, <laughs> then they all have to get that move, or like they all got to be. But that's not good. Like, I think it's a little different though, bro, because like to me, it's plain as day. Like Almighty J isn't really on the same. He don't even. I mean, even in his interviews, he says he wants to. He he wants to do other shit. He don't even just want to be a rapper. So, like, I think it's more like just YB and Namir and Corday, who are the only ones that kind of take rap seriously. So, I don't really foresee him having to bring a bunch of niggas with him. Maybe, if anything, Namir. But, like, I don't know. You know what I mean? Like, I don't, that's just You think um, Dre is the type of person, because I was thinking this, I don't think Dre's the type of person, especially when he's putting out an Instagram video where you guys are in the studio together. I don't think he's the type of one and done guy. I don't think he no. just makes a song. A tr- y'all just get a, a get a beat, and then you move on. I think he's working with him for real. I think like, so Like, what too. was the last artist that M? I mean, that uh, uh, Dre did that for? <coughs> I'm dead serious. Like, well, off tops, I don't problem. know, but I mean, I would have to say maybe Kendrick. It could have obviously did, he did been Anderson somebody. Pack too. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Facts, facts. Yeah. Anderson Pack. Yeah, that's different. That I forgot about him. That's his artist, so that makes sense. I don't know, bro. But like, Anderson Pack is huge too in his world. He's oh huge. yeah, he's huge. He's huge. He do crazy numbers. Some of the looks he be getting, I'm telling you, bro. Like Dr. Dre is a cheat code, bro. Dr. Dre is. There's never been such a cheat code. Anderson like Pack, Pac, however you say his name. He, since the beginning of his career, he's done big shit. Like as I, I saw him on an award show. Before I even knew who he was. Yeah. You know what I mean? And that's crazy to me that I'm like... song with Dre. (laughs) Right. So I'm like, yo, I don't know. That's wild. But like, me personally, I mean, I could see Dre maybe messing with YBN though. Like the the crew. Maybe not, maybe not Mir. Because the thing is, is that not Mir is is work wittable. I feel like. He's but like a listen, nigga. Listen, this ain't Namir's. I'm not saying he's not, but let Corday do a court. Let Corday. Yeah. Play Friday, I feel and you. YBN could come in and do whatever, whatever. Because if Dre wanted to work with YB in the mirror, he would have grabbed YB in the mirror. Uh, it, 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 I want court. If I'm not saying that's all they got to do. If they do a Corday song and then they do a YBN song or Corday featuring YB in the mirror, I'm not mad at that. But <coughs> I don't need it to be a now Dr. Dre is. And I don't. I know that might sound weird, but it's just like I could feel him, and it's just like just let him let him cook for a second. Let him cook for a second. Yeah, I agree. And then let him let him do his own thing because Namir has had a, a, a good head start. You know what I mean? Well, okay. yeah, he has. I mean, <clears throat> this is a huge opportunity, bro. This is like one of those cosigns that like <clears throat> it it might not work. Like my nigga, if Dre is working with Corday, bro. They doing they cook they chefing something. What I'm saying. Yeah, and that's and that could be huge things because yo, if Kendrick dropped in 2019, Corday might be on that project. Just a guess. Yeah, yeah I'm telling Just you. Just a the guess. Crazy part, the crazy part about this shit is this. Shit, so many people have posted this video now. This Instagram video of them. It's crazy. It's crazy, bro. It's crazy. It's absolutely insane. And all of them got thousands of, like, yeah, man. (laughs) That's definitely making people be like, whoa, what's going on with Corday here? What are we doing here? Facts. 
Let's see what they do, man. Oh, there, and then the other is, uh, is Boogie's project is about to drop on the 25th. Joyner pushed his album back, <laughs> apparently. That's the word on the streetfus. And um, one, that's also making me think that he has something to do with Shady more. Just saying. Yeah. Because he wouldn't have a reason to. I mean, unless you believe that he's probably going to have some, you know, answer caught back. Yeah, right? yeah. But I believe it's the other way. But, um... I think that's real good for Boogie. Yeah. Real good for Boogie. It'll definitely give him his his spot to shine. You know what I mean? Give his little bogus, man. Yep. Give his little that's a fact. Kick his little rats. That's a fact. He needs that, and then, that way where when that Freak record comes out, which I hope there's another feature with him, but if that's it, if the Freak record comes out, then that'll be a big look for him. I mean, at least <laughs> it's something that hasn't been heard. It kind of has. Kind of, but not, like, in full. Yeah. You know what I mean? It sounds a lot different on a movie. Yeah. Yeah. But, that's just me. I don't know, man. I don't know. What you think, man? You think this the new aftermath? Yeah. If Corday... If Corday is with Aftermath... If that's maybe that's a little bit of jumping out the window, but if Corday signs the aftermath hypothetically, and Kendrick is dropping this year also, and Boogie is dropping, and let's say Joyner does sign with Aftermath, I'm telling you that Aftermath is trying to have that early 2000s run again. Yeah. If that's all, if all of that shit is true, they're they're obviously gearing up to try to take over for Law, and then that'll make a lot more sense why M was so. In 2018, so but keep keep it going, keep it going, keep it going, because maybe this is a plan that M and Dre have right. to all right, let's run, let's do this run, let's let's take over. Again. Right, right, right. <laughs> that early 2000s <laughs> run, listen, it's a dirty run. Yeah, and I mean, <clears throat> Dre gave us one of the biggest de- artists of the decade, Kendrick. Yeah. Um. I mean, if all Anderson the Pack is I'm doing crazy you, it's, numbers. It's Interscope, aftermath, shady. They're trying to do some real shit. They're, right. they're trying to. They're trying to hit them back to back. Because look at look at how they're. If they pick up Corday, then it's like he, they're trying to get. That's the young crowd. That's like. And he's so. Crowd. The thing about him is he's so young, bro. I like want him they, to sign an aftermath so bad, nigga. Bro, like, they caught, so bro, serious. if they get Corday, bro, and he, bro, Corday's like 17 or 18, dog. Like, this nigga got years, bro. This nigga got years. Kendrick's like 30. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, bro, this nigga got mad time to develop, bro. Like, oh my God. This is very early in a career to be making that moves that big, you know? He only got a couple songs out, bro. He don't even have a project, you know what I mean? That's crazy. That's how they be moving. Facts, bro. Like, that's crazy, bro. That's If they get him, son, it's, it's a wrap. Like, Corday gonna definitely go to the top. Shout out to my, my hope that all of that shit is true. Facts. Because that's just gonna be a dirty, dirty low run they're gonna try to have there. And I think it's gonna be a pretty successful run. Yeah. As long as M do features here or there and niggas really remember what made Aftermath Aftermath and that's the way they moved as like a conglomeracy, then it could be bad. Right. Fifty Cent might fuck around one a month who drop something. Fifty this definitely year. might come out with a classic. Might, might fuck around and get back and be like, listen, this get rich and die trying two by two, you know what I mean? I wouldn't even be mad. It can't be called. Good. Don't ever do that. Nah. If, if anybody, unless it's that, just. What if it's just the most fire album no, you ever heard? Don't ever. It's call garbage it. off top. I feel you. Oh, off tops. Off tops. I feel don't you. ever do that. Don't ever. ever, ever, ever I ever, feel ever, you. Ever. I feel you. I definitely feel you. I don't know, man. You could even name it like. Got rich, still living, or some shit like that. That would be better than get rich or not trying to. Garbage. <laughs> get Richard, I Yo. That's definitely garbage. Get rich as I turn to. Nah. Nah, for real. <laughs> That's garbage off tops. Definitely garbage off tops. I'm not with it. I'm like, nah, bro. Tripping. Definitely tripping. Just <laughs> go apply some lotion. Hell yeah, bro. I'm trying to get, you know what I'm saying? Get right, you know what I mean? Well, you know? You know what I'm saying? Get your money up, not your funny up. 
Let us know in the comment section what you think. Is this the new aftermath? Are they coming? We tune in. the millennium aftermath. Yo, it might be the millennium. It might be the decade. You know, they might go. You know what I'm saying? No, 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 no. A decade? Damn, that would be crazy. What happened? If aftermath runs the next decade, nigga, that would be too much. M would be like 60. He getting up there, yo. Or. Grr. Bah!